I'm going to quickly go over how I fletch my arrows using my Bitsenberger fletching jig. Uh, it's hunting season here in New Jersey. I'm kind of late to the scene, so I'm going to go over quickly how I fletch uh, one of my hunting arrows. It's the same for my target arrows, just maybe different settings on the fletching jig. But uh, I'm going to quickly go over uh, the upgrade from AE that I highly recommend if you're going to use this jig. For some reason, I can never get the spacing right if I use the stock uh, knob from Bitsenberger, but uh, this is a pretty inexpensive upgrade that I would recommend. The nice part also is not only do you get perfectly spaced uh, fletchings, but um, if you you know shoot one of your fletchings off or two, you can undo that set screw there, line up the one fletching, and then you don't have to uh, fletch all three fletchings because you can just uh, line it up and fletch one or two. But definitely recommend that. Super easy to install. You just undo that screw right there. And then whether you're running three or four fletch, back out those set screws all the way, slide it out, and then put the new one in its place. So yeah, we're going to quickly go over how I fletch my arrows. First, we're going to start off with uh, prepping the arrow. So I definitely recommend uh, these cleaning wipes. You can also use like acetone or rubbing alcohol. These are sort of pretty easy because they come in packs. And that's what AE recommends with their fletchings. So I'm just going to wipe down the fletching real quick. Nothing really came off, but... Pretty new arrows. So I'm going to go ahead. I have it already set up how I want it. I'm going to use these uh, Hybrid 26s in white. Uh, for this uh, season. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this pack open. I guess that razor blade isn't that sharp. Well, maybe third time's the charm. Sweet. I'm going to take one of these. I'm going to go ahead and put my arrow in the fletching jig real quick. Make sure it's on one of those markings. Before I do anything, I'm just going to check CR I want to place the arrow on the scale here and just do a dry run to make sure it's going to sit flush not seeing any gaps right there and then also I'll turn it around and check it's hard to see but you can look right in there or uh, right along there and just make sure it's getting good contact so I'll just go ahead and press down like I would and I don't see any gaps, so we're good to go. I typically run left offset or left heel cool. I find that uh, my arrow clocks that way most of the time uh, with the string manufacturers that I use. So we're going to go ahead and get this um, real quick. But before I do that, a little trick that I do. Grab two pieces of... Set it down flat like so. It's been a while since I used this pen, but that's good there. Go ahead and grab this. Just wipe down the base. They recommend you definitely have to use this for any other fletching from AE, but they recommend for the hybrids, apparently they're um, pre-primed from the factory, so this is kind of unnecessary, this step, to prime them again. But um, it's what I've always done, and I got pretty good results. So I'm going to get the glue. I haven't used this glue bottle in a second either. But what I do is I just run a bead right down the center, like so. And then I just... Go back and make sure it's all in there. And definitely in between every arrow, make sure you reseal the bottle with glue. So then I just tap it down like that on the paper towel. Gets the glue evenly in that groove there. And then just for safety, just make sure it's all on a click. And press down evenly. And I typically hold for like 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I'll let that sit for maybe 30 seconds or so. And uh, repeat two more times and then 11 more times per arrow. And next thing you know, you got a full dozen arrows ready to kill some deer or uh, kill some paper targets, whatever you're into. But that's how I fletch my arrows using Bitsenberger fletching jig, the AE Bits knob. Definitely recommend that. Super high quality. Definitely worth the money. I think it's only like 20 bucks. So, but I hope you guys have a good luck this season. Thanks for watching.